I'm Melvin Nicholas. I'm from Sarawak in a town called Cebu. It's a very, very small town and we're still working towards getting the city status. Since young, I was exposed to, to the whole medical field. My dad used to bring me to the emergency department where he works and I would stay with him there and then just watch things that he do. My mom, she works in the lab. So from there, I sort of developed my interest in the more biological aspect of a human, the blood, the gene, everything. And then there were even times where I was really young and then my mom wouldn't let me stay alone at home. So when she's going on, on call, and then she would just bring me along and I'll be sleeping in her office. Actual starting point of this whole journey. It was when I was 12 years old and then my grandmother, she, she was really young but she suddenly passed away because of uh, heart disease. She passed away on my birthday. I feel like being at that young age, I'm helpless, I can't do anything. And then I imagine there could be a lot of people outside like my grandmother wish they could be safe and I feel like I want to be involved and do something for them. It's in their blood that they are very, very competitive. There are a lot of good schools, a lot of cluster schools where parents are in the race to enroll their children studying in one of those schools. Just like other kids in my town, we will try to keep applying for scholarships, looking for sponsors. And I just didn't know why I couldn't get any scholarships or any sponsors. And then until the very last minute, I actually got an offer saying that I got a full scholarship to study in Ireland. That was one of the most happiest time of my life because I know that I've earned the golden ticket to actually pursue my dream. So after two years in Banting, I left for Dublin, Ireland, and I was offered to study in, to me, it's the most prestigious medical school. It's called the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. It's a hundred over years old medical school with very, very big reputation. I was very, very lucky to be enrolled there. The whole journey in Ireland is very, it's not an easy ride. Academically wise, I have to keep because I'm a borderline student, so I have to keep pushing myself again. Unfortunately, there are a lot of exams that I failed, and I have to repeat and take supplement papers. Yeah, it got me every year pushing myself, pushing myself just to pass the exam so that I can make it to the following years. I actually repeated my third year as well because of my uh, poor performance. Repeat my third year, joined my junior, and I thought there's well, one chance that I couldn't screw up. So I tried again to push myself. I made it into a clinical years, going for clinical attachment in uh, hospitals in Ireland. And unfortunately for my final exam, there are subjects that I actually fell again and I didn't have the chance to repeat anymore. So unfortunately I have to end my uh, degree in Ireland. I have to come back to Malaysia. So that was the darkest and the toughest and the most depressed stage of my life because I was left wondering what do I want to do with my life now that the reality shows me that I'm very weak in, in medical school, in medical subject. So I had a very, very deep talk with my parents. My parents, they are nice enough, they give me the opportunity to just think about life again, think, think about it all over again and see what other things that I really like to do and what I want to achieve again in my life. But being a stubborn kid, I want to be a doctor again. So after that, during year, the year 2015, I decided to enroll in medical school, restart everything from the first year again. So I came to Ipoh, I enrolled myself in Quest. Yeah, the difference between here and Ireland is that I feel like I'm very, very comfortable even just talking or chit-chatting with a lecturer. Back in Ireland, the student community is so huge. Not all the lecturers actually remember your names. So you just feel like you're just part of the 300 students in my class and going to class every day. And then when time's up, I go home. But in Quest, I'm very, very thankful that the lecturer actually, they are very, very involved. It's not only in our academic life, but also in our social life. We have lecturers that actually brought us out just have a look at the town, bring us for meals and things like that. So I'm very, very glad that in Quest, there's no this lecture in student boundaries. Because once that boundaries is established, one student like me, I will just, just automatically know that that is my lecturer. 
there's a certain boundary I have to keep, I couldn't socialise with my lecturer. But here, because of this privilege, I feel like that actually helped a lot in terms of my academic studies because I know that I could talk to my lecturer, I could say anything to them, I could share anything to them, any problem I'll just go to them. And then all this support from all these lectures actually contributed to the success I actually have today. So I think that the lecturers and students' relationship is just very, very, very important. Otherwise, if there's a boundary, some student might be left behind and then the lecturer wouldn't even know the struggle of the student. So I'm glad that I actually have lecturers that I can share my story, know my level of difficulties and they just be there and support. And I started my second medical degree. I'm glad that the whole journey was a bit smoother compared to the one overseas. I have a lot of support. My family, my lecturers, my mentors, my friends. All of this small contribution actually made me survive from year one up to year five. And yeah, here I am. I just completed my clinical professional examination, CPE, and now I'm officially a doctor. Achieve my dream. cool, very quiet man sitting at our FOM's lobby wearing his signature bow tie. So over the three years of clinicals, he guided us during our every surgical posting. He come to the hospital, he told us what to do and what to say. First of all, I really want to thank both of you from the bottom of my heart.